Hey, year 10, how's it going, guys? Do you know that we've only got one person missing from the reg, and that's Vic? Where's Vic? Someone missed message Vic immediately. Wouldn't it be amazing if we could actually have the reg done in under 12 seconds? Come on, Vic, where are you? Where are you? <clears throat> technically, I did start a little bit later. We're one minute in, technically. Come on, Vic. Somebody message Vic. Somebody message Vic. Wow, that's pretty punctual. I know, you, you, I actually hoped that we would actually have the reg done before we started. It was so close, so close. Vic is totally letting us down. I'm calling her now. Amazing. Thanks, Shan. <laughs> there she is. We're done. Reg done, reg done. Woo. Okay, let's crack on, guys. I didn't type in the chat. Oh, Vic! Ugh! Oh, man. Right, let's crack on, guys. Share screen. <clears throat> so today's title is Alkanes. So last lesson. Do, 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 ten, D. I believe it's ten, D. Ten, D. <clears throat> so, okay, guys. Sorry, lol. Don't worry about it. No need to say sorry. Uh, it, this is shared, isn't it? Yeah, 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 we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, right. Today's lesson is alkanes, guys. So, uh, do, do, do. Today's title is Organic Lesson 2. Organic Lesson 2, and this is alkanes. Woo! Alkanes. Yeah! Big, cheerful, smiley face there. I love organic. I love organic. Learning objectives, of course, are on the YouTube video. It'd be nice to think that you guys are actually using the ones that I put there. So, number one, be able to use. Use I, you, pack, no, nomenclature. I know, right? That's crazy. What a word. Nomenclature. I'm actually going to put next to that, next, underneath nomenclature, I'm going to write the word naming. Because that's what nomenclature means. Yeah, it just simply means it is, it is a naming system. A naming system. So we're going to be learning how to name stuff today, guys. System. There we go. Number two, I need you guys to know why we love, why we love alkanes. Why we love the first family. And then I need you guys to know the steps in fractional distillation. Fractional distillation. Distillation. There we go. Three learning objectives for today, folks. <clears throat> that looks like Tupac. Uh, the Tupac naming system. That would be amazing, right? <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, it, right, so... Once you guys got those down. So the first thing is we need to talk about IUPAC. So IUPAC is a group of, uh, I believe, nine old guys who came up with a naming system. IUPAC. A group. A group of chemists. And yes, I'm very sorry, folks. There are no, there are no females in this particular group. Um, they're very old, really old. Like a couple of them died about six, five or six years ago. And like, I think three of them died all in one year and, uh, they died because of old age and they replaced them with what is deemed young members. And those young members were like, the youngest was like 72. It was ridiculous. A group of chemists that came up, came up with a systematic systematic naming system so before these guys came along and by the way they started um the the, the group was set up future alkenes dinosaurs yes dinosaurs yes <clears throat> so before before the IUPAC guys were set up which was about in the 1970s i believe um, they used to give everything all their old names. So just to note to Bene, 
just a note of Benet in green. Yeah, before, before I you pack all chemicals, all chemicals had common names, common names like Steve. <laughs> okay, maybe not Steve. <laughs> had common names. Uh, it's just nice to mention that. So all these guys did was they sat down and they realized that common names weren't particularly useful. Yeah, just a little extension on that. Common names are awkward. Common names, common names were tricky, were tricky. The reason being is dot, 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 due to having to know people no stuff yeah uh people are going to ask me for an example um imagine a chemical called steve <laughs> add steve to hcl i know right by the way toby if you're going to do hcl make sure the l is lowercase <laughs> that was mean wasn't it um uh to give you a, a really good example really good example yeah uh, eg vinegar now vinegar is a common name. Now, of course, vinegar is not very posh. So before I you pack, so before I you pack, it was called acetic acid. That's before I you pack. Before I you pack. Yeah. Acetic acid. And after I you pack, it became F an oic acid yeah uh olden times teachers guys we have to know some chemicals they're called steve david and james it's so true so true i, I love david david's a great chemical uh this is after iu pack after iu pack there we go so they came up with a system that allowed people to draw things without knowing who they were and that's kind of neat because it means that all you had to do is learn the rules and you could draw stuff. I mean, how cool is that? Um, anyway, I just thought I'd give you an example. Um, I'm trying to think of another example. Um, 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 EG number two. I like giving you, giving you examples that you ought to know, by the way. That's what I'm doing this. <clears throat> um, other examples include um, P... VC. Everyone knows what PVC is. It's a type of polymer. Yeah, this is a type of polymer. Yeah, I, I now I want to use the word plastic, but I have to be I have to warn you, the word plastic doesn't really exist in chemistry. Yeah, you never use it. That there is banned. We always use the term polymer. Now, the old name for PVC before our UPAC, yeah, was poly vinyl i'll capitalize it to show you vinyl chloride that was the old name this is pre upac i upac before pre means before yeah and then it now became pec yeah afterwards poly f oh got to be poly e Thin, oh, hang on a minute, poly, oh no, PCE, polychloroethene. Now, it's really interesting that because technically that should then become PCE, yeah? <clears throat> but they didn't do it. This is, this is post IUPAC. So it's just nice to see this. By the way, PVC still stands, which is really frustrating. They actually kept the acronym for the previous one because everyone already knew it. And that, by the way, is purely due to the sheer number of people they were trying to educate. Yeah, because PVC was so massive back in the 60s and 70s, yeah, before the IU pack was invented, PVC just stuck. No one knows what it means. If you ask your parents, you go, oh, do you know what PVC is? And they'll go, yeah, of course. Of course I know what PVC is. And they go, what's it stand for? They'll go, no idea. Yeah, so it, it's really, really nice to kind of recognize these rather cool examples of this. You guys will be able to do all of this by the end of it. So what we now need to do is we now need to teach you the IUPAC system. 
Okay. So let's underline that. The pipes. Yes, Rue, the pipes. Yes, PVC pipes. Absolutely. So let's zoom in. I U pack. I U pack naming system. This is a subheading. Naming system. Okay, so the naming system goes on several steps. Step number one. Step one, identify, identify longest carbon, longest carbon chain. So for example, e.g. change my color, change it to green, e.g. Yeah, so if I have this picture, uh, I'll, I'll stick with this. Carbon, 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 carbon. Yeah, and I'm gonna do another carbon here, why not? Now I cover it in hydrogens. One, two, three, carbon always makes four bonds. All of these are hydrogen. Yeah, <clears throat> let's, uh, and you know what, I'll be good. I'll be good, I'll be good today. I'll draw all my H's, cause you know, I'll be posh. There we go. So this one is a, is a trick, because what I'm trying to do is show you guys how we identify it. Because the longest carbon chain simply means the longest one in a row. And in this case, it's five. It makes no difference that there's a bend in it. These molecules are constantly bending and flexing anyway. So the fact that it's bent doesn't matter. Yeah, so this here, the longest carbon chain is five. Yeah, this becomes what's called a branch. Uh, you guys don't need that technically for GCSE, but I'm going to teach it to you anyway. Yeah, so this here, longest chain of five, I'll put in green. No, I'll put it in blue. Longest carbon chain, longest chain five. And now, so identify the longest chain, and we now give it what's called the stem name. So step one, identify the longest chain, and we now get what's called the stem name. Stem name. So in this case, five becomes pent. Yeah. So what I now need to do is, I now need to give you all the names for the stems. Now you guys need to be able to go up to 10. So we can do one carbon, one carbon, I should, uh, what's the best way of doing this? Uh, yeah, one carbon, this, so this is number of carbons, number of Cs, yeah, one carbon, one is meth. I'll actually put meth, is meth, dot, dot, dot. Next, two carbons, I'm gonna show you what this actually looks like. Yeah, two carbons in a row becomes eth, dot, dot, dot. Next, three carbons becomes prop, dot, dot, dot. Four carbons is a beaut. What a beauty. <laughs> it's a butt. It's a really big, long butt. So there we go. So four carbons, but now it gets easier. So these guys you've got to learn. Yeah, learn. Meath, eth, lerm? What's a lerm? Learn. There we go. Meath, eth, probe, but. Five carbons. Now it just becomes mass. Because the IU pack got bored at this point. And that now becomes pent. Dot, dot, dot. Six. On the chat, please. Seven. On the chat, please. Seven in a row. Eight on the chat, please. It's all maths. It's just mathematics. It's just mathematics. Cool. I like it. Six. Hex. Seven. Ah, oh, well, Ashes skipped to eight. Oct. Dot, dot, dot. Looks like I've put OET, but it's not it's just oct. What's seven hept? Yes. Seven is hept. A lot of people think sept and it's not, it's hept. Hept is seven. Right, nine. What's nine, folks? And yeah, I'm drawing all these chains, it's crazy. 
Crazy, man. Crazy, crazy. Nine, non, well done, Ruby. It's a non, none again. And 10, and this is the end of GCSE. Oh my God, so many cabins. So many cabins. Non, ah. No, not ah. No, no, no. Non. Not, not, non. Deck, well done, con. It's deck. I will capitalize it. Deck. Non, deck. I like it. So you realize why you need to learn these guys at the top? These guys, you need to learn. Because you can't make these up. Deck, deck, deck. I love that. Deck, deck, deck. 30? <laughs> it's, it's not, actually. Uh, I know, right? 20 is Ico. It's really weird. Uh, don't ask. I don't know what 30 is, actually. Um, but yeah, 20 is Ico. E-I-C-O. Ico sane. I know, go figure. 20. Um, but you only need to know up to 10. I, I don't even know beyond 29. Once I get to that length, I can't be bothered. I don't know what 30 is. I haven't got a clue. Haven't looked at it for long, uh, long enough for me to be able to remember it. So, why? Why do you only need to know up to 10, Ashley? Because they won't ask you any longer. It seems reasonable that if we're going to build your understanding of organics, the last thing they're trying to do is teach you this crazy language. And you never really see longer than 10 anyway. Ten, but beyond 10, it becomes messy. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. So you guys need to know up to 10. Right, so this is called the stem name. This is step number one. Identify the longest chain. Step two in the process. Step two. Step two. Triacontain, apparently. Wow. Triacon. Wow. How bizarre. Wiki isn't reliable. <laughs> so true. Step number two. Ain or in. So I'm doing this with a, a huge, guys, I'm very sorry about this. If you have no understanding of organics, this may be a little bit troublesome. Yeah. So ain or in is to do with the carbon bonds. If you have, so the rule is, I'm doing this in blue, maybe green. What did I do the other one? I don't know. Did I do it in blue? Green? Don't know. Yeah, anyway, uh, A not in, if you have all, this is where I'm going to make it a bit thicker because I seem to be really, really skinny at the minute. If all carbon, carbon single bonds, all carbon, carbon single bonds, dot, 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 then ain. Yeah, if, it's like a clause, isn't it? If carbon, carbon double bond, just see what I've done there, guys. <laughs> see, look, I've drawn it with a double line, like, oh, uh, stop. Double bonds, if carbon, carbon double bond, present. Pre oh. Present, then, I'm just going to zoom out, then, in. Let me give you an example. Yeah, so, e, so example, EG. EG. So let's keep them short. There's no point in going crazy here and drawing massive ones. Yeah, so if we have something like this, yeah. Now remember, I'm adding the hydrogen jump, hydrogens on because there's a rule. Carbon always makes four bonds. We learned that in the first lesson. And each carbon in that picture has four. This is a reminder. Recap. Carbon always has four bonds. We know this. Yeah, it's a reminder. Four sticks. Yeah. So this here, the most, this is the one of the most basic naming that you do. So first thing is, Step one, step one, count your longest chain. One, two, three. Three in a row. I don't like that. I don't like it. One, two, three. So this is based on probe. Dot, dot, dot. Step number two. 
Step two, double or single bonds. These are all, step two, all C bonds C, all single, all single bonds. So it becomes, you then put, so it becomes an ain ending. So the final name for this, so we put them all together and we now get to it in, I'll continue with black, probe, ain. I'm just gonna change, I'm trying to, I should color code this. Color code it, Mr. Duncan, color code it. Probe, meaning three, and then ain, meaning all carbon, carbon, single bonds. Propane, dang. I don't know what the dang's about. <laughs> Tongue, propane. Anyway, so propane, nice and easy. Let's look at another one, e.g. number two. Example number two, e.g. two. All right, let's draw one. Let's do one, two, three, four. That carbon now has four. This can't right, so this carbon here, one, two, three, four, it's done. Next carbon, one, two, one, two, three, four. Next carbon, one, two, three, four. Count on your hydrogens. Yeah, I'm trying to color code it as I draw it. Yeah, I'm just gonna make that all black because I can't see it really when it's like that. Yeah, so this was one, two on him, takes him to four. One on him takes him to four, and three on him takes him to four. So this now becomes step one, longest chain. Yeah, step one is one, two, three in a row. Prop, dot, dot, dot. Step two. Single or double? Oh, it contains contains C double bond C. So, color. So, in. Right, final answer. Final answer. Going to do it in color coded again. This is where I need to try and make my pen thicker. Probe. Change color. In. Yeah, we're building names, yeah? Right, now that you guys have had a go at it, now that you guys have seen me doing it, right, let's do some questions on the chat, please. Are you ready? Right, question number one. Name it, please. Name it. Question number two. You realize this gets quicker the more you do it. The more you practice, the easier this becomes. Question three. I like it, ethene, butane. Love it. Everyone's on this. Everyone's getting it. I like it. There we go. Name it, please. It's going to be so nice to see if you guys remember any of the stuff I taught you in year nine. My mind is blown. <laughs> Why, Isabel? Butine. I love it. Great job. Right. Okay. I like this. This is a great answer. So we had ETH, two carbons, in double bond. Four carbons, but, no double bonds, ain. Next one, longest carbon chain is a but with a double bond. This is actually quite fun. <laughs> okay, butene, I like it. Okay, guys, now we are, I'm now going to quickly do a little extra. So, now, the thing is, you see, if I'm going to teach naming, I may as well just do it properly. So, 
Everyone agrees that so far, the naming process contains two steps. Yeah? So, what would be step number three? And would there be a number three? So, step three in the naming. Step three is any attachments. Any attachments. Right, now this is where our families are about to appear. Yeah, so we've got the main two. Is it based on a butte or a prope or a pent or a hex or a hept or a not or a neck or a non or a deck? You, you get the point. Or is it an ain and an ean? Which one is it? I'm just going to, oh, uh, just, uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it at that for now. Uh, I really want to do the extra. Guys, I'm just going to introduce you to another one just really quickly. This is now leaving GCSE. It's actually leaving A level. In A, a level, you don't even do this. Uh, my board won't seem to let me zoom in on a pace. I just want to zoom in over here. Right. Just going to add one more little extension. This is a nota bene. It's going to be tiny in my notes. Nota bene. What would happen if we had a carbon carbon triple bond? That does exist. There's no four, there's no quadruple bond, but there is a triple. So first thing is, what's the stem of the name on the chat, please? What's the stem? Let's see how long it takes you guys to give me it on the chat. Love of the delay. It's good to know the delay. What's the stem of that? Come on. Eth, thank you, Kieran. Ben! It's two carbons, you plonker. Wait, no, Eth. That's amazing. It's an Eth. I like it. So this is based on an ETH. Now, isn't that cool? You guys have never seen this family before, but you're already being able to build the name. How cool is IUPAC? These guys are geniuses. Yeah, it's an ETH. Now, if you have a triple bond, that there, carbon, carbon, triple, is an ein. Ein, ein, and ein. Plonker. <laughs> Ethine, Ruby, well done. Yeah, this is Ethine. Gonna color code it. Color code it, color code it. I'm even gonna color code it by the atoms. Two carbons, ETH. Yeah, triple bond. One, two, three is a thine. There you go, it's an ein. There's Ethine. Dang, I love that, Ben, you and your dangs. There you go. It, I'm just letting you know, that is beyond, it, that we don't even do alkynes in A-level, but the annoying thing is that Edexcel every now and again throws a question in with them, which is really entertaining. It's a bit mean in my eyes. So I still teach them. The family is called alkynes. Yes, Rue, that's correct. We've seen the alkanes and alkenes today so far, and now this family, this homologous series, are called the alkyne family. Oh, a long lost forgotten family. Oh, I miss the Alkynes. Poor Alkynes. They just got deleted. Right. It's nice to have that though. It's cool. It's cool, cool, cool. Okay. So any attachments? Okay, guys. So at this point, wow, Edexcel ain't kind at all. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Love it, Sham. By the way, it wasn't just Edexcel. It was AQA also deleted it. So did Cambridge. Loads of them did. What, what does L-M-A-O stand for? Laugh my animal off. Is that right? What did, wh where did the alk come from? Um, so Isabel, when we started doing, do you remember when we did families? Yeah, if we go back to the previous lesson, Isabel, and if we look at the previous lesson, we came across the family names, yeah? And what you realized, oh, go away. In the family names, the two of them started off with alk, alkanes and alk alkenes, yeah? So you don't get it, the K anymore disappears. Alcohols is spelt with a C, but it comes from there. There is another family, which is the alkyne family. Yeah, just so you know, it's nice to do it. Uh, I always like doing those extra things because it's cool. It means I can ask you cool questions later on. So any attachments, right? So now what we need me to do is we need to talk about our attachments. Now, the great thing is at GCSE, there ain't many. 
So what the question is, what attachments do we have? So question, ooh, blimey, pen's gone tiny. Tiny, tiny. So question, oh, still tiny. Oh, I need to zoom in. Okay, so question, what attachments, this is where I kind of want it to be there. Uh, no, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna zoom out a bit and make my pen bigger. I don't like making my pen bigger. It means I'm at the edge of my screen, doesn't it? Didn't I ask about that last class or something? Possibly, I don't know. Question. So, what attachments exist? What attachments are there? Okay. So, at this point, I'm just going to mention a few from GCSE, and then obviously throw in the A-level ones. So, number one at GCSE. Yeah, number one, we can lob on this attachment, bond O, bond H. Yeah, so, and this is now onto the carbon. Yeah, I'll give you an example of this. Yeah, give you an example. I'll do it in green. There's the attachment. There you go. So if you see this attachment, the family changes. There's the attachment there. And this is an alcohol attachment. Alcohol attachment. So this now, you gain a third part to the name. Yeah, let's build it. Yeah, we now get, uh, I'll do it in red and super fat. F, the reason why it's F is two carbons. Next one, ane, because of the carbon carbons. This is where I need to color code it. It's not good practice, Mr. Duncan. It's not good. Green, ane, which is, oh, darn it, which is there. Yeah, I'll make it thicker so you know. There we go, ethane. Now we gain a new ending, which is ol. Not a capital, by the way. Neither than a capital. And it now replaces the E. You can't just lob on an ending like that. Because ethanol, that's stupid. We get rid of the E. It will now become F an ol. And I'll do that in yellow. So we gain these attachments to people. This is how you identify families. So let's now do, let's now put that into practice. You realize that all of this is a layered process. Okay, guys, are you ready on the chat? Question number one. Right, guys, can you name, please, on the chat, please, give me the name. Give me the name, folks. Question number two. Look at this. This is amazing. Wait, is it pronounced ETH? Wait, was it F? ETH, ethane. Yeah. Check you guys out. You guys are on this. I'm well impressed. What about this one? Well done, Ben. Spot on. What about that one? Go on then, guys. Well done for the first one. Methanol. Yes, Rue's on it. So's Kieran. Love it. Well done, Shan. Well done, Ben. Well done, Con. Well done, Ashley. It's all a game, isn't it? It's all a game show. Propanol. Well done. Ah, uh, no, Harry's first person to make the mistake. This one here is, uh, I don't like yellow, blue. Don't like blue. Ah, I don't like any of those. Oh no, no, no. Hang on a minute, let's make it thicker. ETH. Next. Een. Oh, I'm gonna make that pen thicker. Ethanol, isn't that cool? 
I love this game. It's such a good game. Hamas is on it now. He's like, okay. So we're building a name piece by piece. Everyone okay with this? Yeah. So the old family, the, oh, FM lol. Oh my God, Rue, 15 years, never had anyone do it. That's amazing. I don't know what FM lol would look like. Oh, actually, hang on a minute. I do. I do know what FM lol would look like. This is Ethan Lol. Ah! <laughs> Actually, it wouldn't it be like you need to make it more lolly? There's Ethan Lol. It's very different, very different family. Hey! Ethan Lol. <laughs> this isn't a real thing, by the way. O M L Y. Only. Shan, I don't know what only is. I think you meant only. Yeah, I think so. That's actually cute, though. Oh, uh, uh, lol. Never had anyone do that. That's amazing. I love it. I I'm tempted just to leave that. No, I shouldn't. I shouldn't do it. It's not a real thing. Let's get, get rid of Ethan lol. Although I do love it. I might have to make a poster about Ethan lol. It's amazing. It's taken me way too long to delete that. Way too long. Still way too long. Still way too long. There we go. Okay, Mr. Duncan, we need to educate you on internet slang. <laughs> I think, you, does OML mean oh my life? Name the face, Ethan. I, 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 don't, I don't get it. How is your smiley face so nice that mine is so weird? <laughs> I have skills, mad skills, Ben, mad skills. Right. So we've now come across the alcohol family, right? Now we need to do other attachments. Next is the halo family. Halo attachment. Halo attachment. So we can now go, if we now do a halo attachment, when a halogen, halogen, F, C, L, BR or I is attached, is attached. So now it's called a halo attachment for a reason. The name's helpful. Yeah, let me show you. So the halogens only make one bond. They always make one bond. We know this from bond rules. Yeah, so this here, is let's build the name. Stem name. Eth. All single bonds. All single bonds. An. Attachments. We're now doing an attachment now. And the attachment, this is where the name of the family is useful. It goes at the beginning and it becomes chloro. Hence, halo. Yeah, chloro, and then the E drops back in to finish the name. That there is chloroethane. So we're just looking for attachments. This is called a prefix, by the way. The halo attachments are called a prefix. The, all, the alcohol attachment is a suffix, if you're interested. So now we can start doing all kinds of funky stuff. So just before I go really cool on the games, Let's just imagine if I had a carbon with an F attached, yeah, and a CL attached, and a BR attached, and an I attached. So here's how we build the name. Number one, one carbon. It's based on meth. Ane or ene. Well, there's no double bond, so it must, must be an ane. Now we look at our attachments. I have got, I'm going to do the attachments in blue. I have got a fluoro, I have a chloro, I have a bromo, and I have an iodo. I know, right? I love iodo. Yeah. So now what we need to do is put them all together in alphabetical order. Ah, good effort, Kieran. Good effort. Got to put it in alphabetical. Ah, good effort. Jumped the gun there, but I'm really impressed that you gave it a go. 
Love it. Iodo. <laughs> I know, right? I, I don't understand why it's funny, but it is. I totally get it. Yeah. This becomes bromo chloro uh, A, B, C, D, E, F fluoro iodo methane. Isn't that wicked? Isn't that wicked smart? I can't zoom out because I've zoomed in too far. It's totally my fault. Bromochlorofluoroiodo, methane roux, not eth. You missed the meth. Yeah, you missed the meth. Ashley fixed it. Well done, Ashley. And I can't zoom out. I need to zoom back in again. Oh, what a nightmare. That means my stuff's going to get smaller and smaller and smaller and then bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. So what that means is what I need to do now is see if I can scroll back where things are getting big, which is here. So what I'm going to do is circle these guys, shrink. There we go. And then I'm going to go to these guys. And then I'm going to shrink. Shrink, 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 shrink. Oh. Mean tablet. Shrink, 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 shrink. Move that up. There we go. Now I need to go to these guys because I went too big. It's totally my fault. Ah, oh, didn't like it. Oh, mean. I just figured I'd give you, it's giving you a bit of time to process what I've given you. Oh, oh my tip of my pen is breaking. <laughs> oh, I need to stop pressing so hard. It's because I get all excited over chemistry. There we go. So I can move that over to there. There we go. Then I can go to this guy, shrink this guy down. I don't mind spending the time doing this. I don't mind. Shrink, 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 shrink. Oh no, you mean thing. Move you. Move you right up to, oh, you evil thing. There we go. And this guy's just got stupid big. Won't let me do it because I've just made it way too big. This is, it's not usually, this is quite unusual for me. I'm usually going too small rather than too big. And then I guess shrink that down. Bring them together. And then Sorry, sorry about this, guys. I'm losing time in my lesson because I'm just moving stuff around. It's totally my fault. There we go. It's totally my fault. And then it just means that I can zoom out and see more. Yeah, and then we can just delete the stupid name. There you go. Just get rid of all of that lot. Come on, little computer. Do what I'm asking you to do. Congrats, Mr. Well, I just realized Mr. Duncan has 239 subscribers. Congrats, Mr. Duncan. Lol. I don't really know even where they've come from, to be fair, Shan. Don't even know who they are. It's amazing. So is that a lot? I don't know if that's a lot. I feel like that's not very many. If I had 2,000 subscribers, that'd be cool. Anyway, so right now that we've done those attachments, let's see if we can start putting these in, in, in together. Yeah, so question on the chat, please. What am I doing? Gone big again. Let's zoom in. Yeah, question one. Question one. And this is because my pen's super fat, right? Yeah, it's the fattest it gets. Let's go. There we go. I feel like it means I'm going to have to zoom in more. I think that's okay. Question one. Right, guys, name it, please. Name it on the chat. Everyone, please subscribe to Mr. Duncan's chat on the Daily Bulletin. Ooh. 
<laughs> you guys are funny. So guys, name that one, please. Number two. Chloromethanol. Well done. Look at that. Con's on it. Rue's on it. Ashley's on it. Shan's on it. Ruby's on it. Kieran's on it. This is amazing. Well done. This is chloromethanol. It gets quicker the more you do it. And it even sounds right. Yeah. Bromoethanol. Love it. Bromoethanol. Okay. Cool. So you guys are totally on this. This makes total sense. We like this. We like this game. Yeah, I like it. And it is just a game. So at this point, I'm realizing my lesson's nearly at the end. Yeah, and I've been doing IUPAC this entire time. Lol, cats. Yeah, so we've been doing the naming system. Yeah, we can do most of this. This is good. No homo, just promo. Oh, Ashley. Mm. Okay, so we've got one more to do. And we can go back to our alkanes. Look at this. I've zoomed so far out. It's stupid gone mad. Right. New heading, please, folks. New heading. And that is alkene, alkanes. We love this family. We love this family. We love alkanes. So I've just got one more bit of IUPAC to do, and then actually I'm going to end the lesson here. So if I now put on the chat, please, can someone name me this, please? Somebody name me this guy. on the chat. There we go. Thanks, Shan. Thanks, Kieran. Thanks, Ruth. Thanks, Ben. Everyone's on this. This is great. This is pentane. Now, pentane is part of the alkane family. Now, as a family, as a family, we know a couple of things about them. Number one is we can use certain words to describe it. And at this point, we're just going to give some really good words. Number one, so these are facts. So number one, this family is classed as what's called a hydrocarbon. Hydrocarbon. And that stands for, I'm going to put that in red, I'm going to zoom in here, a hydrocarbon. I'm going to do it in red underneath. A compound, a compound made from only, capitalize my only, you've got to say that for the mark, only carbon and hydrogen. It's nice to pick up these words, hydrocarbon. Fact number two, we can also call it saturated. Saturated. Now this definition, I absolutely hate the definition for saturated because it's a not definition. Yeah. A compound, a compound that does not, isn't that stupid? Does not contain, does not contain a carbon carbon double bond. Isn't that really stupid? does not contain a carbon-carbon double bond. I hate that definition. Hate it. Drives me mad. Yeah, you're actually saying what it doesn't have rather than what it does have. You can't say it contains single bonds only. They don't like it. Really annoys me. Yeah. Fact number three about this family. We're doing well. Fact number three. They have a general formula. The general formula for an alkane is CNH2N plus two. Let me explain. What that means is no matter what alkane isn't saturated like solvent can't dissolve any more solute. Yes, Ben, it is. Saturated means that you can't add anything to them. Now, because all the carbons here have, have all got single bonds and all got four bonds, it means that you can't add anything to it. 
if you have, just to, to, Valerie, you don't actually learn this, but if you have a double bond, what you realize you can do, yeah? So this is uh, on the chat, name it please, yeah? We can add hydrogen to this, yeah? And it would become this guy. You guys know this. I wonder if you guys can name the two people, please. Yeah, what that means is you can add more. Propene, thank you so much, Ben. He's on it. Ben, really impressed with your contributions today. Well done. Really impressed. What's porine, Shan? I don't know what porine is. Oh, my God. Really, Kieran? Really? Kieran, what? What? There's so many things wrong with that, Kieran. It's stupid. There's no alcohol family. There's no ETH in it. Wait, propene. Exactly. You went completely stir fry crazy. Yeah. So this one here is unsaturated because you can add more. You can't say that. You actually say because it contains a CC double bond. Yeah, it contains that. Whereas this is now saturated because you can't add any more. Yeah, it contains all single bonds. Contains no carbon-carbon double bonds. Stupid definition. Yeah. So if we look at the general formula, if I compare methane, yeah, if I compare methane, ethane, methane, ethane, and propane, what you notice, they all fit the general formula. Yeah. If you take the number of carbons, yeah, there's propane. They all fit the general formula. So this has one carbon and it has four hydrogens. So to get the four, we double the number of carbons to get to two and add two, which gives me four. If we look at ethane, C2H question mark, if I double it, yeah, two times by two gives me four, times it by two, which is the, the H2N, yeah, which gives me four, and then add two on it, I get six, which is the right number for this picture. It does make sense though. <laughs> yep, so we've got, and then we go propene, C3, there's my N, times it by two, two N, six, add two, gives me eight. And just to show you, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The reason why I've done it like that with circulars and lines is to show you where the plus two comes from. The plus two comes from the two Ns, yeah? Okay, fact number four, we're coming to the end of, of alkane family now. We'll do fractional distillation next lesson. Fact number four, what are they used for? Alkanes. Alkanes are used for fuels. We burn them. Yeah, we burn, well done, Rue, he knows the answer. They are used primarily for fuels, yeah? 98% of all alkanes get burnt in cars, power stations, jet engines, loads and loads of them. We just, we burn them. We love alkanes because they're our source of energy. Right, guys, I'm gonna end today's lesson there. <clears throat> it has been absolutely lovely. I'm gonna come back to my lesson, which is over here somewhere. There we go. It has been so nice to teach you guys some naming. It's been so much fun. I will set your homework. I will set your homework. Uh, by the way, there's more to the naming. We're continue, continuing to add to this. Um, and I will see you guys next lesson. See you later, everybody. Ciao. Really struggling today. Don't know why. <clears throat>